Okay, so my name's Marion. I'm just your everyday, normal, hidey away, slobby person. Quite like wearing my blue jeans, probably got a little bit of holes in, a little bit of paint, probably definitely a lot of fat stains. Um, like wearing my standard polo shirts that are just boring and dark and I like hiding actually. I like hiding in my fat, horrible, middle-aged, menopausal body away. And then I got my new job and I realised I wasn't able to hide anymore. I realised that I had to lead with the way that I needed to lead. I needed to stand tall and even if I didn't feel it, I needed to be professional and look in looking like I knew what I was talking about. I do know what I'm talking about, but I needed to look like I could, so I could lead people to believe in me. Um, so that's when I met Marie. She had a body analysis and a wardrobe edit, and because I didn't really have the sort of money that I needed to have to just go full on shop, hate shopping, absolutely hate it. Oh my goodness me, worst thing about, anyway, that's an aside. Um, yeah, so we did the wardrobe edit, so we, uh, that's why we stood here, because I wanted to show you um, got a lovely new wardrobe, most of it second hand actually, or just standard Asta or Tesco. Um, so this is my, I'm going to show you now, my absolute favourite, favourite dress. So this was Debenhams about two, three years ago. Um, endured personal shopper to buy this and I loved it, I feel great in it. Obviously can't wear this to the office, would look a bit of a dingo. <laughs> Okay, so Marie came round and she's like, what do you feel good in? What do you feel good in? And I'm like, oh, this dress. She's like, yeah, you can't wear that to work. Right, what else do you wear? Right, wear my jeans and my <clears throat> my side top from Screwfix because my husband's a gardener and now and again, I do a little bit of work with him. She's like, can't wear that. You're a woman, dress like a woman. I'm like, mm, yeah, but I don't want to do that because then I show my body off and it's not very nice body that a lady should have. She's like, don't be ridiculous. So we all talked through where all of this came from. Uh, we talked through why I felt the way I do. I'm not going to go into all of that. It's not counselling. You don't want to hear it. Um, I don't want to share it either. But um, if you know me, you'd know that this was a big thing for me to let myself loose with. And it needed to be somebody I felt I could trust. It needed to be somebody that could tell me to wear, oh my goodness, this. This is not something I would put together ever, but it works. I feel amazing in it. I look amazing in it. Sorry, that's really braggy. Don't mean it to sound like that. But yeah, actually, I'm not sorry. I feel amazing in it. I look amazing in it. Yeah, so this top is something I would might have worn, but I'm not really a fan of long sleeves. But with the jacket, it gives it definition. It highlights the fact that, yes, I've got humongous boobs but it does it in a subtle, good way, rather than, hello, boys. It's more of a, yes, I've got boobs, but yes, I've got a waist as well. And this necklace, again, I, I literally wear studs. During the day, I will just wear a pair of studs in my cross. I don't wear any jewellery. I've got lovely jewellery, but I don't wear it. But Marie encouraged me to get some dressy bits and to like just to have this on here with this top and my black jeans, probably I would wear these, um, in the office, just totally lifts this to look in something professional rather than just, oh yeah, she's, she's looking all right today. But this brings definition, this lifts the whole outfit. So yeah, it's, it just works. It needs to just be what you feel good in and just works, really. So yeah, um, yeah. I've got lovely clothes, I feel good. Um, everyone's still talking to me at work and yeah, um, I would thoroughly recommend it. It's brought me out of the person I was into the person I should have been, um, what's the word? Promoting and being proud of. I'm proud of me again and that's something I couldn't have said a couple of months ago.